I always tell our customer is that like, had we known what we know today, we would not have started. <laughs> <laughs> launch a consumer watch, we created a military watch without a brand. So people are saying you very brave. Eh? You launch a new brand with a product without a brand. So the rationale is because we want to stay true to the original pilot watch yeah, from the Luftwaffe. The German pilot watches doesn't have a brand. So that was our very first watch. We created a watch without a brand. Right. So that was a it was a radical move la, during that time. So, but after a while, we realized that by creating these type of watches, right, it's, it's very easy to be replicated. Yeah. Another person can easily do what we are doing. Um, so, immediately, it's like I remembered my first passion is to right. go draw things that look different. So, quickly, I went back to the drawing board again and said, hey, this is the direction we should take for SEO. To be avant garde, you know, to, not to create a Me Too product. So that has been the ethos of watchmaking that guide us until today. So you see today we have many creations that looks not like a military watch anymore. Yeah, and I'm proud to say that this is the direction that we enjoy taking and we will continue to Yes, please do. Yes. Okay. So Mr. Roboto is unique and beloved timepiece. Can you tell us a moment or experience that gave birth to the idea of this iconic watch? Continuing what I just uh, told you just now. So, when we told ourselves we had to create a product that is out of the box, so Mr. Roboto came to my mind. So this fell a bit uh, because I was reminded of my toys, uh, my right. team toys and those things that we play. Uh. And now, in retrospect, we can all relate to things like this. Uh. Maybe I'd be doing my patient. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Things like this we like to yeah. play, la, those right. mechanical robot or uh, what we think robotics is supposed to be. Right? Right. These are funny, but, uh, these are spastic looking looking robots, right? but now we know robotics is not like that. But this is like a reminiscence of what we like and enjoy playing. So Mr. Roboto became my inspiration to, to create a watch. So during that time, nobody has thought about this kind of a design philosophy to create a watch that doesn't really look like a watch. So these are the alternative ways of uh, telling time. So I decided to uh, have my own take uh, on what watchmaking is. Uh. So that's how I got started in uh, watch design. So um, also being trained, I'm, I'm a a mechanical train engineer, so I really can appreciate the intricacies of all these uh, gear systems and whatnot. Right? So I began to dabble into some uh, technical design as well. So with all these blueprints, I presented to another friend of mine, uh, which is he's also a watch collector plus watch dealer, Mr. Alvin. Some of you might know him. Uh, he sells vintage watches. So when I presented the idea to him, uh, he was saying, hey, that's a great idea. And the only reason why I found him was because he was much older than me. La, so I presume he has more money. <laughs> <to kiss him. laughs> that was the only motivation. La. Okay, but so I, I approached him and with, without hesitation, he said, hey, this is a good, great idea. So without knowing much uh, about the industry, we, we, we dive right in. <laughs> so I always tell our customers, is like, had we known what we know today, we would not have started. <laughs> okay, so he has been... Um, challenging uh, journey and it's and it's still and it's still a remaining it's still a very challenging journey la. especially more so now actually because now you know people are you know, the creation of micro brands you know, people are you know, beginning to think like what we are thinking 50 years ago so now of course um, we have to go ahead as you know we have to be even more innovative in terms of the product offering quality you know and the storytelling because it's important so this is our next step the challenge next step. So if you look at our watches, they are pretty unconventional. So by uh, by now you should know that our watches looks radically different, or some say not the not the not the common watch that the man on the normal man on the street will wear. Okay. 
So uh, the very first creation, the unique creation that we thought of is the Mr. Roboto. And it remains one of the most iconic product in, uh, in today. Uh, we are proud to say that you know, in this very crowded uh, environment, uh, we are able to carve out a niche for ourselves. And when people look at the Mr. Roboto, it's like instantly people say, hey, is that the eczema? So it has to be eczema only. <laughs> Even for this spaceship, like what our friend is wearing, spaceship, okay, it's a, also an iconic product. Okay, and the mechanism is invented by eczema. So back then, there was like, uh, maybe more than 15 years ago, this mechanism was invented. And the way we tell time, we have a single 3D hand that carries the jumping hour. It's a unique system you know, that uh, we thought of uh, back then. But now, of course, you see now it's more common with the, with the, the discount system. Uh. So it's only in recent years that people begin to like, finally appreciate or finally begin to decode uh, what it is all about. So uh, that's our creation. And um, also, so one of the uh, creations that I'm very proud of is the watch that tells time backwards. So a single watch hand that goes backwards is actually invented by Azimov. Mm -hmm. So um, at this moment, we are still, we remain a unique brand with this uh, idea of telling time. So this is also inspired by automobile, but modern sports car. Big speedometer. It's, actually, it's, uh, it's inspired by Mini Cooper. Uh. Yeah. The mini dashboard you see is in the, the center of the dashboard, it's huge, uh, it looks ridiculously big, uh, so we've uh, got the inspiration from there. Yeah.